Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. So let's take a look at your no contact situation, current energies for your person, Ace of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, The Magician and The Judgment. So your person is definitely thinking about the opportunity to try again with you, The Judgment, Blast from the Past, Energy about a second chance, in this case 100%. They are trying to figure out a plan in order to interact with you in a way that can present to your attention the Ace of Cups, Ten of Pentacles combination of energies. So a new love offer with the opportunity to go the distance together, the Ten of Pentacles. It is fair to say, guys, though, that uh, this individual, for some of you at least, can be um, a little bit manipulative and also a stubborn person because we got a couple of energies that can present some challenges, you know, the Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords together, and then the girl with a snake or a cold card, which can be something that deserves your attention considering the history that the two of you can share. We got the Three of Swords and we got the Storm Fields Oracle card. So, guys, we know that the Magician can work with all the Aces, so this person can try to bring forward their A-game even so that they can impress you. I am curious to find out a little bit more about the Magician because some of you maybe were committed to this person but the situation didn't work. And for others we can think about instead a connection that couldn't develop properly because maybe there were commitment issues involved. And if that's the case, the Four of Pentacles that we got in the flow may not be in favor of this person, even if they reach out and they can do that. So, Magician, let me see. Here we go. Nine of Pentacles, single, available. They can also be aware that maybe you are free, and so this can encourage this person to take action. Let's talk about taking action. King of Wands, still passionate about you. Into the unknown seems to be what some of you can feel. If you think about the connection, if you think about this person, and also if you think about a new chance with them, I like you, Oracle Card. They can say that. So are you still interested in the opportunity to give a connection with this person, a real chance? And... I think that this consideration is meaningful for some of you guys because chances are this person found a way to manifest a set of behaviors towards you that maybe were not exactly serious and the connection didn't work because of that. So what's holding them back? Six of Wands, Ace of Wands, Three of Swords, Page of Pentacles. The past is holding this person back because of the Three of Swords, energy that compromised your connection, that's why the no-contact situation. The Ace of Wands is extremely tricky, guys, because either this person was superficial towards you, so they basically gave you the perception that the connection was merely, you know, a deal of sex, a passionate opportunity, a casual one, unfortunately for some of you. And so if that's the case, there was no victory because the two of you parted ways. This person can think about an apology, page of pentacles, in order to be victorious, but it is not said that you can welcome them back in your life. For others, especially if you were committed, this person maybe fell for someone else, a betrayal, a distraction, a third party interference, you get the jazz, ace of wands, three of swords, they pursued that situation out of ego if we follow the warrior that comes back from the battle victorious, and so now they can apologize. But if you resonate with this scenario, girl with a snake oracle card seems to be extremely meaningful. So if the actions of this person basically caused a storm fields type of moment for the connection, is it possible to try again? Because the opportunity, let's say, can truly really be one that can resonate with the Into the Unknown Oracle card. So, guys, let me see. Let me see the Page of Pentacles at this point, because 
It can be an I am sorry. Is it an apology out of convenience? Here we go. Six of Cups, my favorite card in the deck, Memories, I would say. Genuine Intentions, hmm. I would leave a question mark about that. Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior, feeling guilty, regretful. Well, makes sense, especially if we think about a betrayal or if we think about a superficial approach that can even disrespect a potential lover. Eight of Wands, recurrent energy. So it seems that this person is counting the minutes before they can reach out. They want to do that. They can be a little bit iffy about your feedback, your reaction, and they can still be passionate about you, but if the Ace of Wands prevails, especially over the Ace of Cups, this may not be in favor of this person. So, will they reach out? Four of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, the Hermit, and the Eight of Wands? Yes, this person can reach out. They can say that they have been thinking about you and they have been thinking about the connection, considering a reunion, let's say a reconciliation. I am bothered, guys, by the Four of Pentacles, which is a closed off energy. This person can be, again, stubborn, not willing to share completely, you know, things with a partner. Stingy person also is a choice of words that is coming to my mind. Knight of Swords, their temper, their character can be, you know, a little bit tricky. They can snap quite easily. That's why I was saying maybe a manipulative person, like someone that loves to control a connection, girl with a snake. This can be a problem, guys, for some of you. And you will have to be smart when this person reaches out. Eight of Wands, Cupid's Arrows, Arrows of Love, the current energy of communication. This person can break silence in a way that can be hopeful to achieve some feedbacks coming from you. Feedbacks that can be kind of positive, you know? This person can hope that you can be available and willing to try again. It seems difficult, so we have a jumper. Let's keep it. Uh, I want to go for the Eight of Wands, guys. I want to find out a little bit more about the communication flow. The Knight of Swords, though, it seems that this person can try to sweep you guys off your feet, kinda catching you out of surprise as well. So let's see. The Jumper first. No reverse, strand card. Matter of patience, matter of trust. The three of swords can break a vow of trust. This person may try to overcome a challenge. If we think about the opportunity to regain your trust, is it possible? Is it possible? Knight of Pentacles, major apology, and an offer of commitment, guys. This is more than an option. Three of Pentacles, they want to work things out, indeed. Two of Cups, they love you. Beautiful words, beautiful. Do you believe them? Seven of Wands. I want to say that this person doesn't want to let go of the connection with you. So they can be a little bit fixated with the idea to try again. What is going to make the difference is your perspective, because the Seven of Wands can even become a defensive stand coming from you, if you are not having the connection anymore. Storm fields. some of you can say, look, it's a no-contact situation, we have not been in touch, but I didn't like the behaviors of this person, so even if they reach out, I am well over the connection. Others of you maybe can be in a slightly different position because, who knows, you would like to see something different from this person in order to try again. They can bring to your attention something different compared with what you have already seen from them. To you, I would say, do not jump the gun kinda out of excitement or out of passion, because maybe you like this person. 
because there can be, you know, something subtle, something hidden that can be involved in the interaction, guys. And we know that the magician, again, can be someone that can have a clear plan in his mind, but we have to figure out the intentions. And the past, because of the three swords and because of the girl with a snake or a card, is not in favor of this person. They will push, guys, considering the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Wands. They want a yes from you. If they can get it, this is something completely different, you know, a completely different ball game. Expect communication. This is what I can say to you. So, guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So, thank you. And until next time, I wish you the best. Take very good care of you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.